Hi, I'm Rami Hanna, and today we're going to look at architectural photography, uh, particularly for rendering. And we're going to look at principles like composition and staging and see how some of those principles can apply to either our photographs that we take or the renderings that we create in the office. Before we, before we really jump into some of the composition and principles, some of the, the, the key elements of photography, I think it's really important to look at uh, some of the, uh, the examples uh, in the industry. And there's definitely some precedence in the industry. You have artists like, um, well, we're going to look at some photographers. Uh, so primarily the ones that I consider uh, the architectural photographers of the industry. Julius Shulman, he's a great photographer. And I, I highly recommend looking at some of his work. He, he really set the precedence for architectural photography. Uh, and he's done work like the Case Study House, number 22. Uh, some great photos that are really nice. Uh, and, and I really recommend looking at his photos. Uh, just recently, uh, about a year ago, they came out with a film called Visual Acoustics, uh, a film about Julius Shulman, and I highly recommend checking it out. It's very inspirational, uh, and it, it, it was very motivating for me to watch it, and then come back and, and learn how I can apply some of the things that he, he did in his photos to my renderings, as well as the photos I take. So he's one photographer. Uh, Ezra Stoller's another, and he's a great photographer. And both of these photographers, they were commissioned by architects like Fl Frank Lloyd Wright, and, uh, and Richard Neutra, and so they, they definitely have set the precedence for architectural photography. So those are the photographers. You can also look at uh, artists like Alex Roman and Peter Guthrie and, uh, and Juan Altieri, and all of those are artists that have done some amazing uh, 3D renderings. And they're in the industry, and you can check out their renderings, and they've really set the precedence for what a good ArcViz rendering looks like. And so I highly recommend uh, just going to the internet and doing searches with these guys, they're, they're, they're out there and they're doing some amazing stuff. And so they also, they kind of set the precedence for me to see, okay, what is it, here's what my renderings look like, and this is what other people are doing that are getting recognized, they're winning awards, and so let's see what I can do to improve my renderings to look like theirs. So we're going to look at some, uh, some principles of photography.